Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to talk about the Airbus A320neo family and the Boeing 737 MAX family. The Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo are the most popular and best-selling narrowbody jets in the aviation industry. They are often used for short zero to medium haul flights and are widely used by commercial airlines worldwide. While these two aircraft have many similarities, there are also some key differences between them that may be of interest to those in the aviation industry or to travelers. Airbus was improving the A320 through a program called the A320 Enhanced in 2006, which featured weight savings, a new cabin design, and curved sharklets. As Airbus progressed with the A320 Enhanced, it soon realized that engine technology had progressed to the point that it could deliver 15 to 20% operating cost reduction over the past generation, since the new engines will burn 16% less fuel, while the 737 MAX is designed to be 14% more fuel efficient than the past generation of 737s. Two-point-four-meter tall wingtip devices that provide operators with the flexibility of either adding an additional 100 nautical miles range or increased payload capability of up to 450 kilograms. Made from lightweight composites, these wingtip devices offer up to 4% overall fuel burn savings. Airbus has improved A320's airframe to ensure high structural reliability, easy maintainability, and greater than 95% airframe spares commonality with A320. Improved aluminum alloys increase structural life, while the extensive use of composite materials save weight and reduce parts. The NEO program features the choice of two new engines, one of those engines is revolutionary Pratt Whitney's PurePower PW1100G, and other is the Leap, 1A from CFM. The PW1100G is one of the GTF family engines prepared by Pratt that will power most new generation aircraft including the A320neo, the Bombardier Cherries, the Ember E-Jets E2, the Russian-built Urquit MC-21, and the Mitsubishi MRJ-90. The 737 MAX winglets reduce fuel consumption by up to 1.8% compared with today's winglets. These are wingtip extensions which reduce lift-induced drag and provide some extra lift. The LEAP family of engines is a sole supplier for the Boeing 737 MAX, which will feature the slightly smaller LEAP 1B. The fan of the Leap 1B was increased from the 61.8-inch diameter of the CFM 56-7B engine on the 737NG to 69 for inch. There will also be a new digital regulator for the engine bleed air systems, which should improve its reliability. The quieter 737 MAX has a 40% smaller noise footprint than today's single-aisle airplanes and 14% reduction in CO2. The nose landing gear is lengthened by 6 to 8 inches 15 to 20 centimeters, to maintain the required ground clearance. The MAX is the first Boeing single-aisle aircraft to feature both primary and fin duct chevrons. In comparison, one major difference between the 737 MAX and the A320neo is their size. The 737 MAX is slightly larger than the A320neo, with a longer fuselage and a larger wingspan. This means that the 737 MAX can carry more passengers and cargo, 
although the exact capacity varies depending on the specific model of the aircraft and the configuration of the cabin. Another difference between the two aircraft is their engines. The 737 MAX is powered by CFM International Leap engines, while the A320neo is powered by either Pratt Whitney PW1100G or CFM International Leap engines. Both of these engines are modern and efficient, but the Leap engines on the A320neo have been reported to have better fuel efficiency. Both the 737 MAX and A320neo have undergone significant updates and improvements over the years. The 737 MAX, for example, has several different models, including the 737 MAX 7, 8, 9, and 10, which offer different capabilities and capacities. The A320neo has also undergone several updates and has several different models, including the A320neo, A321neo, and A319neo. In your opinion, which one is the best NoraBuddy jet? The 737 MAX or the Airbus NEO family? Use the comment box below and share your opinion. I hope you enjoyed viewing the video as much as I'm making it. I wish I see you soon, here on my channel, 